Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from what we have here. Let's take 6 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side, and this becomes x minus 3 all raised to the power 6 minus 6 raised to the power 6 equals to 0 from here. Then here we can rewrite this as x minus 3 all raised to the power 3. Then raised to power 2, as 2 times 3 here will still be 6, then minus same thing here, 6 raised to power 3, then raised to power 2 equals to 0 from here. Then this follows from a square minus b square, which same thing as a plus b, into brackets, then open brackets, a minus b. Then, here, this implies that we can write a as x minus 3 raised to power 3 and b as 6 raised to power 3. That is, here, this equation now becomes x minus 3 raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power 3 into bracket then also into bracket x minus 3 raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 close bracket equals to 0 from here that is here we have two cases the first one we have x minus 3 raised to power 3 plus 6 raised to power 3 equals to 0 and the second one we have x minus 3 raised to power 3 minus 6 raised to power 3 equals to 0 then let's solve from the first case here that is this follows from a raised to power 3 plus b raised to power 3 which is same thing as a plus b into brackets then open bracket a square minus a b plus b square that is here this becomes x minus 3 then plus 6 into brackets then open bracket here we have x minus 3 squared then minus 6 times x minus 3 then plus 6 square close bracket now equals to 0 from here that is from what we have here this is x plus 3 into brackets then open bracket expansion here becomes x square minus 6x plus 9 the minus is open this bracket we have minus 6x plus 18 then plus here yeah, 6 square 6 times 6 that's 36 close bracket equals to 0 from here and from here we can simplify this bracket and we have and this becomes x plus 3 then into bracket here we have x square then minus 6x minus 6x give us minus 12x then we have 9 plus 18 that's 27 plus 36 that's 63 so plus 63 here close bracket equals to 0 from here that is from here we have two cases which are x plus 3 equals to 0 or we have x square minus 12x plus 63 equals to 0 from here and on this side this gives us x equals to minus 3 then on this side we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1 b equals to minus 12 and c equals to 63 that is
on the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 ac over 2a this becomes x equals to minus minus 12 plus or minus square root of minus 12 squared then minus 4 times 1 times 63 over 2 times 1 from here and when we simplify this here we have x equals to minus times minus that's plus so we have 12 plus or minus square root of minus 12 square we have 144 then minus 4 times 1 times 63 we have 252 then divided by 2 from here which also same thing as x equals to 12 plus or minus square root of 144 minus 252 we have minus 108 then over 2 and here we can separate this and we have x equals to 12 plus or minus square root of 36 times 3 times minus 1 then over 2 which implies we can bring out square root of 36 which is 6 then we have x equals to 12 plus or minus 6 root 3 then root minus 1 here we have i then over 2 which implies there that we have two common from the numerator here so this become x equals to 2 into bracket 6 plus or minus 3 root 3 i then over 2 here and here 2 cancel each other then we have x equals to 6 plus or minus 3 root 3 i from here so we which means we have two complex solutions from here then from the second case here this follows from a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which is equals to a minus b into brackets the open bracket a square plus a b plus b squared then what we have then becomes x minus 3 then minus 6 into brackets then open bracket x minus 3 squared then plus 6 times x minus 3 plus 6 squared those bracket equals to zero from here then when we simplify here <coughs> excuse me minus three minus six we have x minus nine here then into brackets then expansion here give us x square minus six x plus nine then six open here we have plus six x minus eighteen here then plus 36 close bracket equals to zero from here and here we can simplify and we have and we have here x minus 9 then into bracket x square minus 6s plus 6s cancel each other then 9 minus 18 minus 9 plus 36 that's plus 27 here then close bracket equals to zero from here that is we also have two cases here which are x minus 9 equals to zero or x square plus 27 equals to zero from here then here this becomes x equals to 9 on this side then on the other side here you can take 27 to the other side and we have x square equals to minus 27 t 
taking the square root on both sides, we have square root of x square equals to square root of minus 27. And square cancel square root here, we have x equals to here. And write this as square root of 9 times 3 times minus 1, which implies x equals to root 9 is 3, so we have 3 root 3, then root minus 1 is r, which is plus or minus. That is, we also have two complex solutions from here. Therefore, we have two real solutions and uh, we have three, four complex solutions from here, making together six solutions. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and turn on the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up. See you next class. Bye for now.